Welcome back to another Altitude University video. In this one, we're actually gonna be taking that footage that we shot last week in Laguna and we're gonna edit it together and I'm just gonna show you how to resize it. So for example, if you're watching something on your phone that's horizontal this way, it's 1920 by 1080. But if you wanna resize that footage so that you can put it on Instagram or TikTok and be able to view it this way, this is 1080 by 1920. So 1920 by 1080, 1080 by 1920. So what we're gonna do is actually resize that footage from Lagoon I put together, just you know, 10 seconds of footage, and I'm gonna show you how simple it is, so let's jump right into it. So right here in Premiere, you can see I have a few clips laid out and this timeline is 16 by nine or 1920 by 1080. That's the aspect ratio, sequence settings, 16 by nine. So that's 1920 by 1080, which is vertical. So I added the crop bars, just adds a little cinematic value to the footage. I like it, you don't need it. Doesn't change the fact that it's still 1920 by 1080. So what we wanna do is actually resize these clips. Let's play through this real quick. You can see one shot, two shot. It's just basically, if you watch the In The Field video from last week, I just took those shots we got with my Mavic 2 Pro and just sliced together a little piece here. So what I'm gonna do with this timeline is duplicate it first right here, duplicate, and I'm gonna rename it. So instead of the 16 by nine right here, I'm gonna put nine by 16. So I have this perfectly labeled so I know that both of these are the same, but one is gonna be vertical and one's horizontal. So we don't need the horizontal one. Now I'm gonna go up to this sequence settings and change this to 1080 by 1920. And you'll see that is nine by 16. And watch this, boom, there we go, phone format. So horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. So this is 1920 by 1080, 1080 by 1920, perfect. So you'll notice that this was the size that I had in horizontal, but we need to make it bigger to fit the whole screen. So watch this, what I'm gonna do is scale it up right here boom, like this, and an easier way to do this is you can actually, if you click that motion tab right there, you can drag it up like this to make it fit the frame. So before, we had this size, right? Now after, we have this size right here. So I'm just gonna round this up to 92, and since all of these clips are shot at 3840 by 2160, which is 4K, I can copy from this first one, Command C, go into the second one, Command V, boom, and it duplicates the position in scale from the clip that we just did. So now if we go into our third clip, same thing, boom. So you get the idea. So I can drag the rest of these and watch this, boom. It's gonna duplicate it on every single one. So these all just got resized just like that. So now all we need to do is just kind of move these around since the frame is a lot narrower. You can see we have a lot more room to work with right and left. I'm just gonna kind of move these over to find the focus point we want. So this one, that one's perfect. This one's pretty close and move it a bit right there, center that. Move this over a little, just like that, right here. And right there is great. Remove this one over a bit, just like that and that one's perfect. So now if we play through this right here, you're gonna see we have perfectly vertical footage. So when we export this out and watch it on our phone, we're gonna be able to watch it full screen rather than that horizontal version. You know, when you saw when we put it into this timeline at first, what it did, it came in like this and there's the black on the top and the bottom, which does not look good. That's not intriguing for the viewer. They wanna watch that full screen, you know, whether it's an Instagram reel or TikTok, you wanna be able to put text over that, put awesome music over it and run with it from there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna kinda show you the rest of my workflow with it. Now that we have this sequence is I'm gonna export it out um, this is my preset, it's called ZBest, and all it is, I didn't adjust really anything, I just put the target bitrate to 40 instead. I think it starts at, you know, like 10 or 15. Um, and you can see the estimated file size at 10 bitrates is 13 megabytes, and this just brings it up to 54, so the quality is just a bit higher. And we're gonna put this right in here into exports. Boom, and we're gonna export this out. Ready for the magic? We're gonna go right here to our export, we're gonna open up our phone, just like this. 
and we're gonna airdrop it, ready? And as you can see, right here is the video we just made. So you can really see how simple it is. Um, quick run through of that again. You're gonna take your first sequence, right? Your 1920 by 1080, aspect ratio is 16 by nine. You are gonna go in, duplicate it, nine by 16. So it flips it from horizontal to vertical, just like that. And then you're just gonna resize the clips. You're gonna to go to that scale. And however your clips come in like this, you're just basically gonna scale it up to whatever size. And then if all of your clips were shot at the same dimensions, which all of these drone shots are 4K, um, 3840 by 2160, you can just go in, since the scale is gonna be the same, and copy and paste that onto all your clips. And then all you need to do is just go in and move around and resize the clips as needed. So I hope that was a pretty quick and easy tutorial on how to resize your footage from 1920 by 1080 or 16 by nine to 1080 by 1920 or nine by 16. Uh, this is great for posting your videos on social media. You wanna be able to use that footage that you're shooting for, you know, say a longer video and resize that just so you can get as many pieces of content out as possible. That's what we do here at Altitude is, you know, from this YouTube video, we have a longer section in the course where, you know, it's an editing session going through the actual final, final video we made and then resizing it as well and going over more specifics in depth. So if you're interested in that, that is in our 14 day drone pilot pro challenge, which you can access in the link below this video. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course 14 day drone pilot pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.